For more than two years, we've brought you regular COVID-19 updates from Milwaukee city and county leaders. As cases, hospitalizations, and deaths decline, public leaders are ending those weekly briefings. Fox 6's Bill Miston brings us context. Bill, with these updates, they're not completely done. The pandemic we know is not completely done, but they're just kind of pulling back at this point. That's right, Steph. And case in point here, the Northwest Side uh, Health Clinic here near 76th and Mill, as well as uh, other vaccination and COVID-19 testing sites in the city, will remain open at least through June. And as the new pan, as the pandemic changes and a new variant raises its head across the world, as well as right here in Wisconsin, health experts here in Milwaukee County say now the plan is for vaccinations and a push for that. A lot has changed in two years of Milwaukee city and county COVID-19 briefings. Spikes and declines in cases, hospitalizations and deaths. Also, a new mayor, a new city health commissioner, and Tuesday, a new way of looking at how to address the COVID-19 pandemic. As we're seeing a flattening of cases uh, and a flattening of positivity and a flattening of uh, hospitalizations. Uh, and even I didn't mention it, but a flattening of, of deaths. But there's still uncertainty, especially with the new BA2 variant. So even while regular briefings stop, the COVID-19 planning continues. And that starts with vaccine. Right now, countywide, four people have died from COVID-19 in the past week. 33 new cases, down from 10 a week ago, with positive tests at a little more than 2% and roughly 50 people hospitalized over a week. I think we just don't know. I mean, that has sort of been the, the um, message all along. This is a novel virus. Um, we learn more every day and every week. We don't know if there's going to be another um, an, um, another variant or another surge. The city plans to prioritize targeted COVID-19 vaccination campaigns among vulnerable groups. Only 62% of the county received one dose of the vaccine and pushing boosters. Tuesday, the FDA authorized booster shots for those 50 and older. That said, it's important to remember that we will not boost our way and certainly not double boost our way out of the pandemic. While signs of normal life may be returning, city and county health leaders say they're not ready to exhale just yet. Now, the city will continue its free COVID-19 testing and vaccinations here at its northwest uh, uh, side, south side and Menominee Valley locations. But right now, the plan is to turn both the northwest side and south side locations into one stop shops for childhood immunizations, as well as blood level testing that will begin late next month. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Kind of repurposing there. All right, Bill, thank you.